Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Games. We are approaching a year, believe it or not. Um, but here we are, and we're going to jump right into it. So for PlayStation this week, the trailer is Maneater. Check this out. Humans kill 100 million sharks every year. But only five humans are killed by sharks. It's time to even the score. Eat. Explore. Evolve. It's shark versus man. Man eater. All right, guys. So that was man eater. Uh, that's a really cool take on sharks, I guess. Um, so it looks it looks kind of interesting just to kind of play around with. Um, but I'm not sure about long time playability. We'll have to see. Uh, but moving right into it, so Neo 2 received photo mode and new missions a couple days ago with the new DLC details. So let's just jump right into that. So the photo mode has in-depth camera settings including image exposure, gradation, lighting and tint, adjustments, and variety of filters. In addition, there's nine new missions submissions and twilight missions as part of the update now as far as the new dlc news uh, the developers planning a, a release for three sizable dlc batches over the next several months to provide some additional challenges there will be new storylines new yokai new bosses guardian spirits new skills mm -hmm. fresh armor and a new weapon on top of all that there will be a new there will be new difficulty levels and end game content that will be added to allow the campaign to get longer. The first pack, the Tengu's Disci Disciple, will kick off July 30th. So check that out in the next couple months. Now, Scully is an interactive looking title uh, where basically you take on or an interesting looking title. Sorry. Where you take on the role of a skull that rolls around an island trying to save it. In the meantime, you can transform into walking creatures from dirt or mud elements to get things done on two legs. A puzzle platform adventure coming in August, where as a deity, you've reanimated this skull to handle a feud between you and your three siblings that jeopardizes your home island. There's a trailer out there now, so check that out if you're interested. There's more info to come. Now moving into Xbox, Xbox's trailer for the week is Bullet Beat. Check this out. sure that all of the playthrough elements and allowing your music to be imported into the game is something that Microsoft's going to be able to do on the Xbox One. So by all means, if you're interested, check that one out. Now moving into the news for your Xbox this week, sign up to play the Kart Rider Drift Beta on Xbox One. The closed beta will start June 3rd and you can sign up to get a head start and pre-download on June 1st. 
you will have two modes to compete in. Item mode, which is for newbies or those needing to learn the game. That features fun and gratification with item pickup where gameplay is enhanced by items itself. Now the second is speed mode, which is for seasoned gamers seeking intense competition. Players will need to hone their racing and drift skills to gain speed boost to become contenders, real contenders, as it's eSports ready. It's marked for precision controls, advanced uh, drift system, and highly skilled gameplay. To learn more, head on over to their website and sign up. Now, Crusaders Kings, Crusader Kings 3 has been given a release date in September, a strategy game where you are guiding a royal dynasty through centuries of war, romance, and intrigue. Thousands of, of possible starting points for you, and no two games will ever play out the same. With several changes, but sticking to the core of Crusader Kings, this historical sandbox might or looks to be a lot of fun. And the game is set to launch September 1st. Go and check that out when it releases. Moving on to Nintendo, we actually have a trailer for Nintendo this week. That's Arcade Spirits. Check it out. A new player, it seems. Who might you be? Put on your sexy swimwear. It'll improve my projections. I really appreciate you being here. It means a lot to me. I just want us to be happy. Both of us. Lovely time for a spot of gaming, innit? Together, we can make the fun flex soar. Alright, that was Arcade Spirits, which is already out on the two other platforms, I believe. Um, so... This week, Nintendo gets it on the 22nd. So, Animal Crossing's New Horizons Special Characters a data mine recently revealed spawn rates of the special characters in the game. Ninji revealed that every week you're guaranteed to get Sahara Kicks and Leaf on weekdays if you meet their criteria. Two other weekday slots that are randomly filled with Gulliver, Label, CJ, Flick, or Red uh, now, unfortunately, the ones that you miss will be available the following week. Celeste appears on days with meteor shower weather patterns, and finally, Wisp is just randomly around. So if you're looking for all the special characters, there you go. Uh, Nintendo's online service for the Switch isn't exactly the most flushed out component. The company's president, Shitaro Furukawa, I don't know, probably messed that up, uh, mentioned that they were still eager to increase the appeal of the service and said memberships have been steadily rising since the release of certain titles. To start, they have added four new games to the SNES and NES titles, including Wild Guns, Operation Logic Bomb, Panel Dupont, and Rygar. So if you are looking for some new SNES or NES titles through the Switch Online platform, by all means, check those out. Now, moving directly into Stadia. Stadia's past their second quarter, and the games listed have been updated with what is on Stadia and what is coming. I'm going to concentrate on just what is confirmed to be coming, as the list is quite long. Now, moving into this list, I didn't put any dates in here because that would just be a lot longer. But the titles that are coming to uh, Stadia in the in the future for this year are Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Baldur's Gate 3, Chorus, Krayta, Christ, or Chris Tales, 
Cyberpunk 2077, Destroy All Humans Remastered, Dirt 5, Doom 64 just released, Ember F1 2020, FIFA, Gods and Monsters, Gunsport, Jotan, Valhalla Edition, Just Shapes and Beats, Kona, Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris, Madden, Marvel's Avengers, Monster Boy and the Cursed Kingdom, Monster Jam Steel Titans, Orcs Must Die 3, Panzer Dragoon Remake, PGA Tour 2K21, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Rainbow Six Quarantine, Relicta, Republic, Rock of Ages 3, Make and Break, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, Sundered Eldritch Edition, Super Hot, The Elder Scrolls Online, Watch Dogs Legion, Wave Break, West of Loathing, Windjammers 2. Now again, I didn't go into dates here, but all of these are for this month and beyond. And I'd have to go back to my original statement. A couple of these are due out in 2021, but for the most part, they're all due out this year. So, is Stadia now fully operational and worth a view for all? Well, the free tier is finally live. The game library is much bigger than it was seven months ago. And lag still is going to be subject to your inter internet connection. So there shouldn't be any fights there. If your internet sucks, obviously you're not going to be able to game very well. However, if you haven't tried it, it very well should. I'm a pro and early adopter because I wanted to see how it would all work out. Now, I still do most of my gaming on my PS4 and it would take a lot to change that. But I do use my Stadia to game every now and then when I just want to experience something I don't have on my Sony system. I obviously haven't had the ability to travel, which was probably the most appealing part of this. But in the near future, I'm hoping that changes. I really want to see how this works on the move. But if you haven't tried it yet, by all means, dive in because now you can do it absolutely free minus your game purchase. So that's it for this week. By all means, like, comment, share, subscribe, and check us out next week here as we cross into week 51. Have a good one, guys.